Lift the tray comparison. Genuine GM Motors from your local Chevrolet dealership from the parts department, not one offline, not a knockoff, 100% GM parts right here in this hand versus uh, $12 on Amazon, eBay, uh, lift a tray. Set of four. One lift a tray is like $12 versus a pack of them for $12. This is a factory one out of a motor. It's used. I did a video with it earlier. Uh, this is a factory lifter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Amazon one, shall we? eBay one. Cheap online one. Whatever you want to call it. We got three. We just need one. We get the one out of the main top. Let's compare it to the original one. And as you can see, it looks about identical. It's a copy clone of it. Now this is a extremely light. Uh, this weighs about... Uh, what all four of them together would weigh this in wood. So, how's the thickness on this? So you can see the thickness on the original one is way thicker than this aftermarket one. Now this is a used one. Let's take a look at a new one. Genuine GM from the local dealership. Now the fake packaged ones, the ink and stuff is a different color. So that's one way to tell. Also when you get them out. So no discoloration. This has never been in a motor. This is a factory one. It's been in a motor. You can see it's kind of stained and stuff. They look identical. Let's take a look at the thickness. They should be identical because this is a factory one. You can see they match exactly the same thickness. Now let's compare the cheap one to the GM new one. It's even thinner. Okay, let's do a flex test, shall we? Very little flex. That's me putting a lot of pressure on this. Takes a lot for me to force it to flex. Let's take a look at the used one. It's just as stiff. It actually might have a little bit more flex to it, but that's probably what aged. Now let's try the one for $13. The whole pack of four of them. Okay. That's the same amount of force. I ain't really cranking on this. That's just, that's awful. And you don't want to put that into your engine. And you're probably watching this video because you're thinking about buying those. That's me. You can watch, I'm actually shaking. I could twist these double and. Okay. No, no effort. So that's a no-go. You're going to kill your motor out with these. If you got these in your motor and it's still going, you might want to replace them. It's just a matter of time to a fail. Uh, how's the fitment? They ain't no fitment. Okay, I got a benefit of a doubt. Maybe it's where I twisted it. Maybe, you know, I, I twisted it out of shape. But... Let's try this one. Nope. That's what cheaping out on your engine will get you. Oh, that one's stuck. Nope. You should be able to take your factory tray, put your lifter in it, it fits snug, and do that with it. I mean, even the used one. You should not have no twisting. Does this one twist? That's a dead motor. That motor won't last no time. Look at this. Okay. I'm in the motor. I'm moving. I'm twisting. Who needs a cam? How about the new one? That's in the top. No twist at all. Look at that. Look how snug too. Don't even move. Don't cheap out on your lifter trays. I bought these just for this video to show you to save you an engine. 
by Drex from General Motors from the Chevy dealership because they do sell knockoffs and packs like this. You can tell by the ink if you're looking online to buy them. Not all of them knockoffs, some of them are genuine GM hot, but the ink and stuff will be different on them. So always be mindful of that. They do Ford Motorcraft parts the same way. They sell knockoffs of those uh, in the knockoff packs and stuff. Uh, you just gotta be mindful. How I get around all that is I go to my local Chevy dealership. You can call your local Chevy dealership, ask for the parts department. They do have a parts department. They just don't sell cars. And tell them you need a set of lifter trays. They're not that expensive. Well, they're more expensive than this cheap thing here. This is $13. You get maybe one for the price of the whole pack. You're going to be out 50 60 bucks for a good set of general lifter trays if the price has not increased since I bought mine. This video isn't about lifters, but I highly suggest you buy your lifters from the Chevrolet dealership too. They're about 15 something a piece. Uh, it's expensive, especially if you need 16 of them. So yeah, that's how come I highly recommend keeping your old ones, especially if you're on a budget. But if money's no concern, go to your local GM dealership to give you 16 LS7 lifters for your LS engine and uh, pay the money. I mean, oops. Uh, it's like fifteen, sixteen dollars a piece for a lifter, so you can add that up. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from everyone. Get subscribed if you're new, and if you're a returning subscriber, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this lifter tray mess of a thing that came in. Whoops! And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.